We've been doing power summits now for three years. We've now trained over 3,000 plus folks with this power summit here. A lot of folks were, they saw us online and they were saying, how can we actually find you offline? And so we created the power summits. The backdrop right now of the political climate against the Latino community has been not more palatable than it is today. When you have presidential candidates basically trying to scapegoat the Latino community for the challenges this country faces, it's an opportunity for us to wake up and organize. We have 13 states represented today here at Stanford. So congratulations. 800,000 Latinos turn 18 every single year. That is four congressional districts. We are arriving, but we have to be prepared. Gilbert Cedillo for years did the, and we Alejo after him, the driver's license, license bill. Marco Fireball did in-state tuition for the undocumented. It matters who we elect. We have to defend the values of who we are as people in this country because we're not guests. This is also our home. We deserve a seat at the table. We deserve leaders. Throughout the last 10 years, I've seen that little by little, the community has really engaged and understand that, okay, oh, wait a minute, there's right? 54 <laughs> million of us? What are we afraid of? People look at deferred action like, oh yes, the president, you know, signed executive action and, you know, like all these legislators, out of the goodness of their heart, they did this. That's not the case at all. That happened because there was a focused effort by young dreamers in this country. What excites me is so many of you are in college and you're gonna finish. And then you're gonna come back and you're gonna change the world. When you look at the diversity of millennials alone, one group could stake their claim, but they're not gonna be able to get very far without all of us. So in the end, it's all of that. You wanna keep your passion, mm -hmm. your coraje about injustice, but you also gotta know if you wanna be successful, if you wanna be a uniter, you gotta, you gotta inspire people to their better angels. But I think it's also important for us to not be apologetic about wanting to be treated like human beings. So now's the time for us to organize, to teach the best practices that both Latinos learned in the last 10 years, and get mad, but get mad with a purpose.